Yeah, it's Bob and Peeps. Tough Ocean 77 here today for episode 7 of Welcome to Folklore Manor. I'm sorry that it took so long to get to recording these in for Spellbound School Girls and Folklore Manor. I was just mainly focused on, uh, uh, I was mainly just focused on finishing Sakura Scramble. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to keep recording three games at once, but when I'm done with one of the games, I won't just immediately start another. I'll start all the three games at the same time. Sora and I cannot believe our eyes. Sakura, what are you doing here? This is the first time we've seen you in school. Trust me, I would know. I catch a hint of nervousness in Sakura's expression. But she manages to regain her composure. One sec. Uh, okay. There it is. Um, so I'm putting my computer down and off in my bed. Because I really don't have a desk to get on my PC yet. And now I'm going to move up. I don't usually do this, but I have a special treat for you. And you as well, mistress. Okay, go on. Sakura brings out a bag. And si inside the bag are a couple of lunch boxes. Wow, I can already smell the food. What's inside? If I may, allow me to give you some hints. I hope you have become smart enough to take a guess. Try me. The food? It's a personal favorite of mine, and it's easy to cook. Oh, I know what it is. Want me to tell you, Austin? Don't. I'm gonna guess what it is. Go ahead. And send those lunch boxes are. What did Sakura cook for us? Fried chicken. Hmm. What made you answer that, if I may ask? You're an Oni, right? And growing up, I've heard stories of Oni eating chickens up in the mountains. Farmers would worry about their poultry getting lost in the middle of the night. So yeah, I think that you, Sakura, love to eat chicken, am I right? If Sakura feels impressed, she doesn't show it. She nods her head, however. It seems that I have underestimated you. I was right? Woohoo! Enough with the guessing game, Sakura. Enough with the guessing game, Sakura. I can't wait to taste your cooking. Me too. Want me to send to the cafeteria later? It will be my pleasure. Sora and I walk toward the next class. Meanwhile, Sakura heads somewhere to pass the time. Lunch break arrives, and the students head to the cafeteria. As expected, Sakura has become an instant celebrity. Hey, miss, can we take a selfie? Where do you get that costume? I want to wear it in the next anime convention. Are you wearing a wig? <laughs> do you have makeup on? <laughs> she seems flustered by all the attention. Psst, Austin. Is it considered illegal if I transform into an Oni right now? Don't even think about it. You don't want to scare the students. How's the plan? Hang in there, Sakura. They'll leave us they'll leave as soon as we get a table. After sitting down, Sakura brings out the lunch boxes. Here you go. Eat well. I opened the lid of my lunch box. The fried chicken is heavenly. Wow, this looks so good. The smell is making my mouth water. I look at my lunchbox and then at Sora's. And also, yes, I farted. Get the fuck over it. Seriously. I have no shame for my gas. It's a natural human... Well, it's a natural way to get rid of human waste. And I have no shame for it. Huh? Why do I have three pieces of chicken but Sora only has two? Austin, what's wrong? Why aren't you eating? Huh? Oh, um, you see... It's weird that Sakura would give me more chicken than Sora. I stare at Sakura. She's signaling, she's signaling me to eat. Why so silent, Austin? Maybe he's just super thankful for the meal. Huh. Does Sora deserve to know? Should I tell her about this? What should I do? Remain silent. Nothing wrong is looking, nothing's wrong with me. I'm just, um, I'm just praying before I eat. You? Praying? Don't make me laugh, Austin. We know that you're just shocked that Sakura could do something, right? Er, yes, that's probably it. Sora and I start to munch on our fried chicken. Suddenly, Sakura leans in to my ear. You're probably wondering why I have more chicken than the mistress. Yep. Yeah, like, what's the favoritism? Well, think of it as my way of saying thank you. You know, for saving me from the thugs. Oh, okay. That sounds fair. 
Sora and I are Zoom meeting. Sakura, aren't you going to eat? I already ate. The Oni are capable of prolonging their appetite until the next kill. That's cool. Creepy, but cool. Um, Sora, what are you doing? Sora has just dropped the fried chicken from her hand. Ugh, so frustrating. I can't hold this piece of chicken. My hand was frozen by Yuki, remember? Have you tried using the other hand, mistress? I didn't, but for some reason it's not functioning properly as well. Weird. Could it be Yuki's powers? Are they really that strong? That's a possibility. Snow fairies tend to fall with all of equilibrium. What is frozen will be melted, but if one of the pair is affected, then the other shall follow. What a bummer. Sakura is, I mean, sorry, Sora is clearly frustrated. It's unfair to think of her as a spoiled brat. She's definitely not like that. I'm feeling pretty sorry for her. Especially with, the, especially with those fried chicken, uh, especially with those fried chicken under her nose. <sighs> Perhaps Austin can feed you using his hands, huh? <laughs> that one's funny. I stopped laughing when I realized that Sakura was serious. Oh. I look at Sora. She seems perplexed. She doesn't know how to react to Sakura's suggestion. Should I do it? Will Sora find it okay to use my hands to feed her? What should I do now? Politely decline because I don't have the rubies. Um, I understand that Sora needs to eat. But I can't feed her with my hands, Sakura. The other students might see us and they might bully her afterward. Oh, well, Austin has a point. I'd become the laughing stock of the school. I'm afraid that the mistress will have to endure the discomfort. E yes, I guess. I watch as Sora struggles to use her hands. I kind of feel sorry for her. She's not enjoying the fried chicken. I can do this. I can do this. Ow, I dropped it again. A few minutes later, we're finally done eating. Whew, that was one of the best meals I've ever had. I'm not kidding, Sakura. Your chicken tastes excellent. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like my cooking. This is why I'm incredibly lucky to have you in the mansion with us. I... I... Th thank you, mistress. Anyway, I'll be heading to the next class. Are you coming, Austin? Yeah, but I think I need to escort Sakura to the exit. She might get lost. Oh, I'm not gonna lost. I have a strong sense of smell. But still, it's the least I could do after cooking for us. If you say so. Sora proceeds to our next class while I accompany Sakura outside. Here we are. Again, thank you so much for the food. It was my pleasure to show appreciation for saving me from those thugs. Ah, oh, shucks. It was nothing. Take care on the way home. I watch as Sakura walks toward the school gate. Suddenly... Kent. I'm not going to reveal the twist, but this guy's a complete fucking douche. Kent has appeared out of nowhere and is now staring at Sakura. How are you? Just the usual. What's new? N nothing. Huh? What is happening? Do they know each other? But how? What should I do? Approach. I spied last time. I'm going to approach this time. No harm in approaching them, right? I slowly walk towards Soccer and Kent. Hey, guys. Ah, hey there, bro. So, you know each other? You could say that, yeah. Why do you ask? Nothing. Just curious. But from where? Well, Soccer and I go way back. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. Kent pats me on the shoulder. Got her on. I still have an appointment with the principal. See it, bro. Kent runs off. Farewell. And then Sakura also runs off. Huh. That was weird. I guess I better get back inside. The next class is about to start. Home economics. My least favorite subject. For today, we're tasked with cooking a meal. Okay, class. Get your cooking tools ready. Um, okay. Sakura's doing her best with her hands. Good thing they seem to be healing now. There's only one problem. Well, where does the salt go again? How do you use this giant spoon as for soup? Uh, she knows nothing about how to cook. Sora, you're supposed to cut the carrot first. Carrot isn't the green thingy? 
The entire class erupts in laughter. Sora is so ignorant, she doesn't know a thing. Must be a spoiled rich brat. Guys, shut up. She's doing her best. Sora, do you know the difference between a spoon and a fork? Yeah, that's a good one. But please, stop. Sora's lips begin to quiver. Her cheeks are blazing red. I see that her hands are shaking and her palms are sweaty. Mom's spaghetti. Wait, no. Knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on a sweater already. Mom's spaghetti. Guys, if you tease her one more time, what are you going to do about it, huh? Oh, look. Sora the Slaughter has a knight in shining armor. Uh. Sora has suddenly fallen silent. I'm not used to seeing this side of her. I need to do something. Should I comfort her? Sora's looking at me as if she's begging for help. Her shoulders are shaking. Should I place an arm over her? Her eyes. Those beautiful eyes. They're calling me. What should I do? Uh, I want to do this premium choice so bad. But I can't. This, Unlike the soccer scramble thing, this is not the modded version. So I can't. I stay quiet. Sora continues to tremble. Look, now Austin is suddenly quiet. He probably doesn't want to taste Sora's cooking either. The class roars in laughter. Sk. If I say something, they might also bully me. Is it even worth the risk? Fuck yeah. Seriously, just fucking stand up. Not only for soccer, but I mean, not only for Sora, but for yourself. She never did anything wrong. She's barely been out of the man. Well, she hasn't done anything in the kitchen before. They're just being fucking cunts. Just fucking beat the shit out of them. Sora looks at me with pleading eyes. And then she walks out of the classroom. Bye, Sora the Slaughter. Deep inside, my heart weeps. An hour later, the class ends. I try not to think of what happened between me and Sora. So, school is finally done for today. What should I do now? Maybe I could hang out with Kent? Oh, uh, but he said that the principal needed to speak to him. I'm outside the office now. Should I wait for the meeting to be over? From the other side of the door, I hear Kent and the principal talking. They seem to be in deep conversation. I'm suddenly curious. Now what? Listen through the door. Don't barge inside the room. That is stupid as fuck. I cut my hand between my ears and the door, trying to listen. Hmm. I can hear them at least. The voices are a bit muffled, but I'm able to catch their words. Okay, it's still recording. The school greatly appreciates this generous donation. It's an honor to give you the check. For decades, my family has always valued the importance of education. I'm sure the school will use the money in the best possible way. Again, thank you, Mr. Rockwell. Rockwell? Kent Rockwell? That's ridiculous. I thought Kent had a different last name. Why did the principal call him Mr. Rockwell? I can feel my pulse racing. Whatever's happening, one thing's for sure, the plot has thickened. I love a good fourth wall break, and that was definitely a good one. Anyways, guys, this has been Typhlosion 77, and I'm out of the house. Bye.